Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today we want to help you understand battery sizes. So today we've got a 100 amp hour battery and a 200 amp hour battery here. And not only are they the same size physically, but they also have the same amount of energy. How's that possible? We are a distributor and installer of both Voltgo and Rich Solar batteries, as well as many other brands. This video is not a comparison. We're just trying to help you understand how battery sizing works, but we will link the products shown in today's video in the description. Most people look at amp hour capacity when they're buying a battery, but they should be looking at watt hour capacity, which is a measure of energy. And energy is similar to how much fuel is in your tank. One watt hour is one volt times one amp hour. So when we look at this 200 amp hour, 12 volt battery, we've got 12.8 volts times 200 amp hours, and we get a total of 2,560 watt hours of energy in this battery. Now let's double the voltage and half the amperage, and we've got 25.6 volts times 100 amp hours, and we've got the same 2,560 watt hours of energy in this battery as well. To break this down a little further, battery manufacturers get this amp hour rating by seeing how long the battery can discharge at any given amperage. So Rich Solar on their 12 volt battery hooked up a 12 volt load and they let it run for let's say 20 hours at 10 amps. Now this same battery would only run for 10 hours at 10 amps, but it would be powering a 24 volt load. So they would in total discharge the same amount of energy. And energy is what you care about, not amperage. Another question we get often is how do lithium batteries manage to call themselves a 12.8 volt battery when the battery in my car, a lead battery, is only 12.0 volts? To answer that, the voltage reported on the battery is called the nominal voltage. So that is the average voltage of the battery during a discharge from 100% all the way to 0%. So a lithium battery will start out very stable in the beginning, just following a straight line at 13.3 volts. And then at the end, it's gonna drop off very suddenly. A lead battery is gonna discharge in a straight line from zero to 100. Its voltage is decreasing linearly the whole time. So the lithium batteries hold at a higher voltage throughout most of their discharge curve, allowing them to report that higher nominal voltage. And it does indeed mean that there's more energy in a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery than a 12.0 volt lead acid battery. Hope this was helpful for your understanding of battery sizing. If you need some batteries for your RV, don't hesitate to give us a call.